Hi everyone, I'm Allie. I've noticed that a fashion trend with a lot of jewelry this season is going to be shorter choker style necklaces. Many are mixed colors, and I thought let's make a gemstone healing necklace in a short 16 inch strand. Best thing about this, you need no tools except a pair of scissors to create this beautiful necklace. Gather up any materials, and if you want the full list of the exact gemstone and materials and string that were used, go ahead and look below the video in the description to get links to shop with us online. Gather everything up and let's get started. So to do these mixed necklaces or mixed peeling necklaces, we're gonna be using some silk cord and we're using the Griffin Silk in size eight. And I've taken the whole thing off the card here. There's a little needle that sits underneath, make sure to pull that out. Then you're unwrapping this whole card worth of string. I've already done that so you don't have to watch. And the first thing we're gonna do is kind of stretch out our silk cord. So I'm just stretching it and pulling a little tension. I love the feel of silk and the durability of it as I'm working with it. And I like this Griffin brand because it already has that twisted beading needle on it. Now, we're gonna be using some mixed gemstones for this to get that nice kind of healing property. And I have two different gemstones that I'm doing. I'm doing a chakra mix. Those are faceted or cut. And then I also have a smooth round mixed gemstone as well. So we're gonna be mixing the two together. In order to start, I'm going to start with my button. The first thing I'm gonna do is from the back of the button here, and this is a check table cut button. I'm gonna take my needle and thread through the button and go the whole way down till I'm at the base of my silk cord with just an inch or so hanging out the bottom. From here, take your needle and thread and go through the other side of the button. Any button will work for this. You can also do a clasp and I have some videos on this, but I wanted to show how to do this with literally just a pair of scissors. No beading tools required. From here, I'm going to tie this together. I'm gonna to do just an overhand knot, right over left left over right, tying those together, and then giving a nice tight pull or a yank. Once you do that, if you want a little dab of glue, you can certainly put a little dab of glue there and then take a scissors or a cutters and cut down close on the edge. If you do want a glue, I recommend the Ultra Gel Loctite glue, easy to stay on there. From here, literally all I'm going to do is string on 16 inches of gemstones. So I'm gonna take my gemstones, lay them out. And obviously if uh, you're looking for the healing properties, you can do some research on which gemstones are for what purpose. And you can make it very specific to you. I really just like the mix of the colors of the gemstones as I'm working with them. I think they add a really fun look and I end up wearing my mixed stone jewelry a lot. So from here now, I'm going to pick up at random. You can certainly put them in piles, like I said, if you want to and have one going one place, one going the other, but I mix them up, start picking them up at random and literally just stringing them on to your needle. So again, the nice thing with this Griffin silk is if you're looking at it, you can get that amethyst on, you get that um, nice garnet, labradorite, we get this jade on. Get a little bit of carnelian and some turquoise and some quartz as we're putting this on. Kind of whatever you need for that day will be on this. And then you're going to push it down onto your silk cord. So you're going to take it right from the needle and push it over the silk there and push it down towards your button end. So once you're done stringing all of your beautiful gemstones, and you can see I trimmed down the end of my button there. All I'm going to do is turn over the thread right over top of each other, make a knot, an overhand knot, taking that double loop, taking the loop through there. And before I pull too tight, I'm gonna judge on the size of my loop. Just make it a little smaller if I need to do it smaller. I just want this loop to be big enough to get my button to go through. Nothing too drastic as you're working with it. So I see here, okay, I've got my loop. I'm gonna tighten that still a little long. Let me pull it a little bit shorter by pulling on the cord here, making that go a little bit shorter and pulling. If it's too big altogether, just grab that, undo it, loop it back over, go in, make that knot, just like this. Pull that knot, 
down next to the project. And that is it. You're gonna take your glue if you want to, just that little dab. I'm not even gonna do another knot. I'm just gonna glue that tiny bit there. Don't use too much glue or it'll make it stiff anytime you're using glue. Just that nice little dot. Once it dries, you're gonna go in with your scissors or your cutters, get close, cut off that extra. And then I always recommend with your extra string, extra gemstones, anything like that, make sure to put them back into the packages. And when it comes to the silk, rewrap your silk around your cord. If you want to, while you have it marked here, you can also figure out about how much it is. It's about an inch here. So as you're doing it, each wrap that you do is gonna be two inches, one to the top, one to the back. Wrap it all the way around there. Keep it on your card so you know what size it is. And then just go in here and tuck that needle in so you have it ready to go. That's all you need to do to get this fun start to jewelry making, a nice, simple gemstone necklace with that boho look of on the cord, has a nice feel to it. And then when you lay it up on the necklace, it lays great. You can even make a double wrap bracelet or even an anklet in the same fashion. Thanks so much for joining me in this super, super simple gemstone healing necklace tutorial. Remember, if you do have a pair of scissors, you grab some supplies, you can easily make this design, which is very trendy right now and coming up for spring. As always, if you need any materials, go ahead and look below the video to shop with us online in the description there. Press that little down carrot arrow. You can get links to everything that was used as far as the gemstones, the string, and the button. Remember also, if you haven't yet, subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your healing of your nice healing necklace.